Hi, and thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I wanted to show you this card that I made. I actually used the annual catalog and I cased it. Case is uh, copy and share everything. And I loved, I don't know if you can see it, I'll show you on the card. There's just this little uh, kind of pattern in the background here. So I decided to case it exactly as is. Um, I believe. I think I did everything as is. Oh, they used pear pizzazz here, and I ended up using uh, soft succulent to match the bow. Everything else is the same, and that is on page 94 of the catalog. So this is the card, and I don't know if you can see, but there's this kind of basket weave um, on each side, and I thought, oh, that's really cool. I like it. So I am going to do that. I'm using the Seasons Blessings, and these are kind of like poinsettias, and I'm using the basket. And then there's dies that go with it, and I haven't put them out on my uh, my magnet yet. But this I love. I think that will be a great die. And then I use the die to cut out the basket that I'm stamping. So let's get started. I'm using uh, crumb cake, and I have my card base as a standard card base. And then I have this other piece that will come over it. But before I do that, I'm going to do my stamping. So let me get a piece of scrap paper out and I'm using crumb cake ink. So crumb cake on crumb cake. And let me just make sure this is nice and flat. I'll get my bone folder out. And I am gonna probably go off a little bit. That's why I have a piece of um, scrap below it or behind it. So I want to, on the stamp, I'm just going to use the edge, not this let me just show you, not this, uh, the rim, but just the edge. And I'm going to stamp it across. Let me just ink this up. And since it's photopolymer, it's very easy to see. And I'm hoping I'm lining it up. So I'm going to go right here. And I don't care that the basket is in here. Oh, that didn't come out good. Um, let me get another one. I didn't get enough pressure on it. Okay, so I have another one, and I think it's because I'm I'm hoping if I pull it down, I'm still in camera, because I think I need to kind of hover over it a little bit better. So let's just ink this up again. Press it down. Okay, so I will ink it, and again, I'm going to go right up to the edge. So I don't want the rim on it, and we'll just press it down. And it's going to look a little funny, but that's okay. And you just want to line it up so the rim is off and you're side by side with the one next to it. And you don't want it to overlap, but if it does, I think your eye wouldn't even notice it, to be honest. It's just this little background. Okay, so when we put this piece on, we're just going to see that little part. So it's pretty cool. I like that idea. So let's start on this side and we'll just do the same thing. I'm just trying to get my card to be folded down. Okay, and we'll do just the same exact thing. So I'm trying to get it so that the edge is there and it's lined up right next to the one that's already stamped. Okay, one more. Let's hope this goes well. So, lip up top or the rim. It's a little bit of a gap there, but I think it is fine. It's just supposed to be kind of a background look. So there we go. Isn't that cool? I really like it. So the next thing we'll do is stamp our basket and our flowers. So I have some scrap paper and we'll do the basket um, one more time. So, <laughs> and I'm going to actually um, stamp it off first. So I'm going to stamp it in the ink and I want a very light color. So I'll just stamp it on my basic white paper. Okay. And then I want to do some flowers and I'm going to, let me just get that. I'm using real red ink. And I'll show you, I'm doing kind of a pink because there are pink poinsettias and white and red. So um, I'm just going to stamp the red 
to get the red one. And then without re-inking, I'm gonna stamp it again to get the pink one. So there you have them both. And I'll do that with the small one as well. So we'll stamp direct and then stamp again. Isn't that nice? So you're not wasting anything. And now, last but not least, are the leaves. And we're doing that in Evening Evergreen. And I thought these were really beautiful leaves. I did two sets. I think they might have done more in the in the catalog. You don't know what, exactly what they're doing. You try to copy them, <laughs> but try your best. So we'll ink up the leaves in Evening Evergreen. Okay, so that is done. And then what I'll do is I'll run these. I'm going to step away and run them through my die cutting machine. And if you have the mini, you can use the mini. So we've got this one. And I'll have to run these through twice. So we've got the big, oops, the big flower. And you just have to spin it till you get it to the right place. There we go. And then we have the little flower. Here it is, right there. And then we have the leaves. So I'll run the flowers and the leaves through twice and I'll be right back. So I have all my pieces cut out. I have the two red and the two pink and the two leaves. So let's start putting our card together. Um, first, I'll put this down with some liquid glue. And it really comes together very easy. And I think it's very pretty. It's, you know, it's in the annual catalog, as I said, and kind of overlook it. It's a season's blessing. And, you know, everybody's all big on the, the new mini catalog. Not that it's new anymore, but with all the holiday stuff, it's nice to go back and see what's in the um, annual catalog. So I'll just lay all these pieces out and see where I want them. I put some down flat and let's see. So we'll put some leaves up here, kind of put this here. I'm trying to follow what I did before. And we can put this up here. So I think that looks pretty good. So let's start putting stuff down. And I just like to lay it out. <clears throat> So I can see. So some things I did pop up and then some are flat. So I think I'll put this right here. See what it looks like. Okay, let me just twist it a little bit. With the liquid glue, you have that little bit of time. And then we'll put this down. I <laughs> can't pick it up. And let's put some glue back there. But I think they're really pretty. Put this up here. This will go. I guess I should put the basket down. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Let's put that down before we get too far into it. So just everything liquid glue. You can use whatever adhesive you want. And let's see if this goes right here. Put this one up here. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so let's put these leaves down here. And then I'm going to pop up the two red ones. So I love uh, all poinsettias, but I really love the red ones. I think they kind of speak to me. Um, I usually get red ones and have them at my house. And actually last year I put them in the ground and they're growing, they're green. There's no red on them yet. And we're in early November. I'm not sure if they will turn red or not, but we'll see, they look nice and healthy. And I think that's really cool. So I'll just put one of these right in the middle of this. I don't think I need more than one and put this right here. So it's just a basket of poinsettias. So what color do you guys like? The pink, the red, or the white? 
And the white sometimes looks like it has pink in it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that looks good. And then we want to get our sentiment. And I just have a piece of soft succulent and I'll stamp it and then I'm gonna cut it down to size. So it's not any real measurement. So I'll use the Evening Evergreen and the Season's Blessings. I think that's a nice sentiment. And we'll just line this up. And we'll go right here. I go back and forth, the photopolymer I love because you can see, but I like the way the red rubber stamps better. I'm gonna leave that open. And we just wanna snip this off right about here. If you're not comfortable with this, you can just use your paper trimmer. Not too bad. And we'll put this right here. I think I have my basket should be over there a little bit, but this is okay. And we'll just take a couple of dots or um, dimensionals. We'll put three on. <clears throat> and put this on and put a bow on, and then uh, we can do the inside. I, I'll show you what the inside of this is. I used the stamp from the set, but I think I'm going to use something a little more Christmassy. So we'll put this here. I'll get some soft succulent ribbon and tie a bow. So if anybody has any tips for um, poinsettias in the ground, if I, I need to do anything, let me know, leave me a comment. I see them in the neighborhood, so I know they can be, you know, down in Florida, they can be put in the ground. And I just really took a chance on it. We'll see. If it doesn't turn red, nothing lost. It's a pretty plant anyway. So we'll just put this right here. I'll move it over here to, um, because I'm a little off center. Oops, just cutting this down a little bit. So let me get a glue dot. And we'll just take a glue dot put it on the back of this and then we've got the front of our card done oh we have one more thing to do i always forget the gems so i was trying to figure out what color gems to put in here and i decided that i would use these um <clears throat> wonderful gems so there's red and then there's this clear with gold speckles in it and i thought that would be perfect let me get my take your pick tool and i put the the smaller ones in. I put the red in the red. You could put all red or all clear with the, the gold, or you can mix them up. And I always think this really finishes off the flower when you have some kind of a glittery inside. Isn't that pretty? I love this. That's what kind of drew me to the card. You know, I do look at the catalog to see, um, you know, examples and try to get them. And a lot of times I'll just get the idea. I won't copy it 100%. Come on. <laughs> um, but this one, I just loved it. So I went for it all in. So on the inside of this, I put two of the poinsettias and I have the may your day be filled with good things. But for this one, I'm taking a sentiment from the Christmas to Remember. This is kind of a go-to for me for Christmas. And I'm doing uh, Love and Joy Come to You and May It Last the Whole Year Through. It has really nice sentiments for Christmas. So we'll do this in the green. That's why I left my green out. And then we'll do some poinsettias. So let's just get this inked up. I just want to make sure it looks good. Perfect. Let's see if we can get it perfect on the card. And you can do the pink or the red or a mixture um, when you do the poinsettias. So we'll close this up, get our real red out again. I have these things everywhere. Do you find your uh, dimensionals in odd places? <laughs> You go to bed at night and something will fall off or you're getting changed. 
Here's one, and then the little guy up here. All right, I think it's pretty. And I think there are stamps, are there stamps? Yeah, so you could do some kind of little dots on the inside of these. I think there might be for this flower, but I bet you you can use them for the center of this. I'm gonna leave it as is on the inside. And let me get my stamp and seal for the inside layer. Okay, so two more Christmas cards are done. I'm getting uh, a lot of Christmas cards completed. So when I'm ready to send them out, I think I'll have quite a, uh, a good variety. So I think they're really pretty. Anyway, thanks for joining and come back for another video. You could always visit my blog, uh, PSPaperCrafts.com, and I have all the measurements and I always have pictures of the inside, the outside, and some tips if there's tips involved. Um, so come and visit that. You can sign up for my newsletter there as well. You have a good day. Bye.